Shepard? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye. But I don't think that, that would actually help me find my way to Bulgarin that much easier. So I mean, like, it's not really- Oh man! Oh no, that's not it. For a second I thought that, that was actually a ballistic compact, but I mean, like, it was at least boxy enough from the front. Now that one might actually be, though. No. I was gonna try to jump out in front of him, but it didn't work so well. No, this is like a Futo, I think. Sorry, man. Yeah, it's a Futo. <laughs> it's amazing how, like, how much I've played this game enough that I actually know, like, what every, like, vehicle is called. Well, at least the ones that I like to drive, that is. What is this? I have 99. Oh, that's probably what the 99 is that I was thinking of earlier. It's Jazz. Nation Radio 99. Why would somebody get out of there? Oh, wow. He just slid. What? Just slap your face. Wait, what? Alright, I think I'm gonna go... Yeah, since that is that's the closest mission again, I might as well do that. And also Ray's mission there, I think it like... That basically is the one that opens up the next portion of like tons of Liberty City stuff. And I might as well hold off on that until like... A bit later. Oh, I, I know that song. Um... Let's see. Rock. That's okay. At least... Oh... I was thinking that, like, maybe these uh, cars are actually being a bit smarter now, because they haven't been, like, trying to take me out when I'm, like, doing my Death Star Trench run between them. Uh... <laughs> I just had to do that. Because that just makes me feel good about myself when I just, like, jump out of a vehicle and go, oh, blah! So also, there's, like, a million more Futos around here anyway that are in better condition than mine. In better condition in a way that that guy just started flying. But I mean like, hey, there's no doors. It's the best kind of uh, car, actually. If only there was more cars in the world that didn't have doors. Then it would solve all problems in the world. If you get into a collision, though, then you're basically screwed. But that's, that's always a good thing. It keeps the population down. Although, according to many things, the population's going down anyway, because there's not enough, uh, the birth rate is going down. But, what, whatever. That's just a sociology thing that I've been, uh, having to deal with. And whatnot. But yes, this was a very, uh, delightful chicken burger. And, uh, for that, I will give you an even better present than bullets. I will give you the present of grenades and explosions. Oh no, that was, why does that always happen? Um, oh well, at least there was a bit of splash damage on that, but I I didn't mean for it to, like, nearly take me out that well. But I could actually go to get weapons and then go to Ray. Oh, but I'm right next to the paper, so I might as well. Might as well. And if I waste all my grenades, then... Oh well. That's, that's just a necessary evil when it comes to uh, messing around and making things fast and simple for me. Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass. Um, alright. People are always like so upset with me just like for doing what they wanted me to do. It's like, well, you did a very good job. You're a horrible person for doing a job like that so well. Stop killing people that we're telling you to kill. Okay, well, whatever you say, I I just dumb following orders. Oh, at least this is a fairly close mission. Still, I should always pay more attention to, like, the mission objectives and so on, but... Ah, eh, it does not matter. Oh, this is the last mission of the paper thing. I know this for sure. Because I always fail at this one, and then they're just like, Hey, yeah, you did our bidding, now we're, we don't need you anymore. But 
I think that I... This is not exactly the right way to go. Oh, maybe it is. Um, oh, oh yes, now I remember now, yeah. This is... This always makes it so, like, difficult, though, because, like... Wait, they're, they're actually flying under the bridge. Maybe they want to get the achievement as well. I, I would just assume that, like, even just in real life, people would be, like, doing things, like, achievement-wise. It's like, this is going to be an achievement in my life. I need to, at some point in time, fly under a bridge with a chopper. That's, that's just going to be so amazing and delightful. So much fun. Oh, no, I took the wrong turn. I think. Or maybe not, actually. Yeah, this is it's still good. Don't worry, I still got my chopper following skills going. Although I generally do screw this mission up at least, like, once or twice. Because it's just so easy to screw up following a chopper on the, on the ground. This is like storm chasing and trying to find tornadoes, but even worse, because... It's... This person's too predictable. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, I'm getting stuck. Come on. I can still see it off in the distance. But still, like... Follow, th those people that are following storms, that's that's always... That would be a horrible try, thing to try to do. There's just, like, no hope. At some ch In some places in time, there'd just be, like, no hope of trying to catch it. Because then they just, like, turn in the wrong way, or... Or the tornado just, like, turns right towards you, and just like, Well, that's very delightful. I'm going to get sucked up into that. We need to have the the, Muji the Mujita scale. We're just, like, with cows, and how they get affected by tornadoes. Because the M6 totally would be, like, ground beef. I need to, like, have a picture of that scale, just, like, right now in the video. Do that, future Glacier Kano. I know that's more work for you, but I really don't care at this point because I have to do that sometime in the future. And I don't have to worry about it now, so ah, uh, blah, yes. As always. Blah. But is, is that chopper, like, I don't know where it is exactly at this point. Oh, there it is. Okay, don't worry. Oh, yes, it is still landing. Good. Because uh, I thought that it was just going to start to, like, take off. Oh, no! Balls. I... I didn't think that, like... Okay, so they have to land entirely. Oh, right. Now I know. The more you know... The more you know... I can never, like, actually know the exact tune of how that goes. So it's something like that. The more you know, boo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know. Also, because my voice is way too, like, raspy-ish. Only ish, though, right now, to be able to, um, do any sort of, like, fake singing type fun times, ahoy. And I think I need to, like, change my audio on this again. There we go. So that's, it's been, uh, oh! This guy, why do I even need to, like, answer him? Because, still, it's not that important. Sorry, didn't he already tell me the objective, basically, before this? Oh, I guess that the airport is probably counts to be in Duke, so I'm gonna take this ruiner. Just gotta wait for the cops to get off me. Doing my, uh, squats. Gotta do my workouts. Um, I believe this is a ruiner, yeah. Just gotta check this. And yes, I am correct. Oh, come on! I guess that's the problem with, like, uh, being in an area like this that is right next to the police station. Because <laughs> we're basically being the anti-police people here. And, oh, that is actually, oh no, almost flipping over. Hardcore. Hardcore chopper following. That's how I roll. I wonder if I could actually do this mission in a helicopter. Oh man, if I fail this mission again, I'm gonna do that. So I mean like I could just like try to get my chopper right next to the side of that building there. And then it'd be like the most awkward thing ever. Just 
Chopper following Chopper, and then I can, like, go and smash into them. But now at least that I know where they're going and, like, their, their fly path route, I can just basically drive there faster than they can. Don't worry, I'll be there before you guys. Hopefully I can get off of these cops that are being a bit annoying, just at least. But, uh... Oh, yeah. I, I really... As well, just I, I feel like saying this right now. Because you're on a scooter, or are you on a scooter because you're fat? Who cares? Yeah, I just had to listen to that as well. Are you on a scooter because you're fat, or are you fat because you're on a scooter? Maybe a little bit of both. Because I mean, you, you start out being fat, and then you get a scooter, but then you become even fatter because you're in a scooter. Oh wow! I meant to just like follow the chopper, but it just went into scenic mode. But still, like, in GTA V, though, I really want to, like, listen to what their advertisements are like. And how amazing they are, because... If they're anything like GTA IV here, that, that's just going to be amazing. And that guy went very, very far. I don't think he's going to be living anytime soon. Or at least he's not going to be having a very high quality of life anymore, because of, uh... He kind of got dragged across the ground, and... His pelvis is probably broken, <laughs> to say the least. That was that uh, was a bit horrible. Uh, but also, uh, like this this helipad that they're actually like going to like uh, stop at, is the helipad actually in the the Ballad of Gay Tony there that actually has like the I don't remember what that chopper is actually called, but it's the golden one that you get from Yusuf Emir, which is amazing. Okay. I'm gonna let it land first, and then I'm gonna make my run up and smash that guy's face in. Okay. There we go. Time to go in, guns blazing-ish. Uh, I think that guy's in the water now. Oh, wow. That's a lot of smashing into people. Oh no, that guy's a shoddy. Oh no, I have my fists out! Why is... Why was that a good idea? Why? Why? <laughs> at least with a pistol, that's at least a little bit better. But I probably should have just been using my SMG. Or shotgun. That might also work. Or, I was just about to pull out a grenade, but then I'm just like, wait a second. Aren't I supposed to take this chopper? That might not be the smartest of ideas in the world. I mean, I've had some pretty dumb ideas, but I mean, like, that would probably be one of the worst. Is trying to. Uh, actually, this is probably one of the dumbest ideas as well. Just running up to the chopper like this because there's probably another guy on the other side. But oh well. I haven't flown one of these things since the war. Uh, I don't know. Uh, because. Oh, okay. Hello there, sir. What if I go like this? Uh. No, I just. I want to smash him against a building. Oh, I just let him land. That's not very nice. Oh, Roman. Hello there, Roman. Oh, so it's Karen. That's what her name is. Uh, wait, does he actually send the picture? I think that he does. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nico, you need to get over here. Yeah, that's... That's pretty amazing, though. I always love the little interactions, because... Like, in between uh, everybody, like, when you're doing a mission. It's so hilarious. But I, all I know is I probably should... Let's see, how close is the burger shot to here? So I mean, like, actually... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna go to the burger shot. Let's make a turn around. Go for our next uh, run in... Next bombing run initiated later on. I need to... Get over here. 
Which still reminds me of so many times over that I need to get, like, uh, playing more of just, like, Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. Again, because that's, like, one of the, my favorite RTSs ever. Yeah, I'll get back in the chopper, just wait. But still, like, Nico's been flying a chopper before since the war, because for several missions I've been just, you know, beforehand and during, I just, you know, like to, I like to drop my choppers. That's how I roll, in a chopper. Just like Brucey, which I haven't, like, got him up to high enough friend status, niche, nicheness, uh, to, you know, make it so then he actually lets me drive his chopper. Well, at least he drives me around, that is. Which, in my first ever playthrough of this game, I got that before I even got to Alderney. I already had that ability from Brucey, which is pretty awesome, actually. Well, very, very awesome, in general. Okay, land the chopper next to the cargo yard. Hopefully I don't crash it. See, I think I should... I'll land it... with this side towards the, that over there, because I don't want to just, like, get shot. That's the most important thing. Thank you. We'll take it from here. And they don't actually care that like... Oh wait, oh no, these are the guys that I think that... Oh, I think I get it. So that's actually the end of the mission. I forgot about that. I thought that I had to like go and kill people from here. But no, the, the guys that like I was working with, with the paper people, they just wanted the chopper in general. Okay, no, I guess that wasn't the last mission then. The guy you need to eliminate, the only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. Okay, so this, okay, the next mission actually with them is the one I think that I get little Jacob and we just like go crazy and just, uh, you know, flying in and so on. But they have a lot of security for this airport. They have, they have cops plus like security guard people. Oh, I was I was wondering if he was actually gonna get upset with that, because the the security guards in this game are very like chillaxed to say the least. They just like go ah whatever. You just bumped into me. I don't care. You're shooting at people. I really don't care either. You're shooting at me. Maybe I might shoot back at you, but I I, I don't know. Also, I, eh. yeah, that was entirely necessary. Surprised that uh, there's nobody going after me right now, because, like, an explosion in the airport, that should be a little bit suspicious. To say the least, as well. I say that, I'm, I'm saying that a lot today. To say the least, I'm saying that. I'm saying to say the least, to, a lot, to say the least. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, that's a pretty good phrase, though. It's, Sorry, it's pretty legit. More legit than most things. 